This video is going to show you some exercise options for patients that are suffering with a high hamstring tendinopathy. Now these exercises are going to be more tailored for patients that can tolerate taking the muscle through its range under a bit of load during exercise. There are a variety of ways that patients can do this. Um, one of the most commonly used is a hamstring curl at a gym. Not every patient will have access to this. So an alternative may be using an exercise ball, um, which are quite relatively cheap and inexpensive. And there are many other ways, such as using a resistance band or holding a weight in between the feet. No matter which option you go for, the principles remain the same. So when we talk about the principles, we're talking about how quickly we do the exercise. And when we're treating tendinopathies, it's good practice to follow heavy, slow resistance. So as you can see here, I'm taking the ball in slowly for three seconds, taking it out for three seconds. The dosage will vary between patients in terms of sets and reps. A good starting point will be three lots of 15 and trying to make the exercise progressively harder whilst reducing the reps over a number of weeks. If the exercises aren't challenging enough, you can also introduce single leg exercises to fatigue. That way we're trying to build up some symmetry between both limbs because if it is a strength issue between left and right, then that will be evident when we do single leg exercises. So it's still important to follow the same principles as in the early stages with patients. Keep an eye on things that aggravate the pain, such as prolonged sitting, repetitive bending or deep squatting, or excessive stretching of the hamstring. It might just be too irritable for that. So it's just keeping an eye on those as well as giving the correct doses of rehab. Additionally, keep an eye on pain scores. So ideally, when doing any time of rehab, you want to be avoiding anything above 5 out of 10 pain. Uh, anything that lingers for over 24 hours and significantly impacts the patient's function for over 24 hours might be just a little bit too much too soon. So check out the high hamstring playlist um, so you can see the earlier stages as well. Additionally, I'll be putting the more functional late stage rehab of high hamstring tendopathy on there.